How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to look at this battery backup system called the Jackery 1500 Explorer and also it comes with four solar panels, 100 watts each. Before I begin, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. You can get 15 free shares just for signing up and depositing various amounts. Moomoo is a free trading app. You actually don't have to pay any money in order to get these free shares. All you have to do is deposit some amount of money. This money is still yours. You can use it to trade if you want. If you guys are interested, check out my referral link down in the video description below. First, I'm gonna unbox one of these panels and also the Jackery unit itself. A Little bit on the ballpark price on what it is on Amazon right now, 17 hundred dollars for this thing and also if you buy it as a bundle three hundred dollars per 100 watt panel so another twelve hundred dollars when you add all this up is two thousand nine hundred dollars my electricity bill maybe hovers around a hundred dollars so if it somehow can supply all of my electricity for let's say three years then yeah sure it can pay for all of this let's unbox the main unit first you have the box with all the cables and chargers inside. A little foam thing. And the unit itself, which weighs about 35 pounds. Need two hands, so there is Ugh. nothing else at the bottom other than the foam. You have the AC power adapter, 300 watt charger, the power cable that plugs into here. You got two solar adapters because you got four panels. The Jackery itself has two plugs. That's why it needs the joiner. The last cable here is a car adapter and this end plug plugs into the input as well. If you have all four solar panels connected, you can charge it in four hours. The wall charger supplies about 265 watts each wall charger, this quote right here is for dual wall chargers and it only comes with one wall charger. So using what's supplied, it's gonna take about six hours to charge it. If you use a car charger, it'll take 15 and a half hours because it's only 100 watts. Let me just open one of them up. There's two panels in each box. Let's just take one out. And nothing else inside got the instruction manual but jackery did not provide me with the solar panels nor the battery backup system i simply borrowed it from a friend so that i can review it for you guys the panel here has a little kickstand type of thing you can open it up to stand it up the top says solar saga 100 watt 18 volts there are magnets that helps keep this closed together like that and on the back there's a little zippered pouch you open it up and it exposes this wire harness thing now this connector with the pin that's slightly bigger in the middle goes directly into the jackery see it won't go in into this junction box thing so if you're going to do that you pull this out and you use the smaller pin one and you can put it in this junction box you put in another panel here and the combined piece here has a thicker inner pin and this goes into the jackery. The junction box, plug it right in. One of the solar panels, plug that in right here. Now the display will only turn on for 30 seconds at a time. You gotta keep on pushing this. If you wanna turn on the 12 volt, you gotta push this DC button and it has a little green light. The AC is on right now, but if I turn it off, this indicator here disappears. Otherwise, if you turn it on, it says zero volt, zero hertz. Oh, there you go. 110 volt, 60 hertz. Here, you gotta push this button in order to turn this on. I really like how there's a little button on all of these because sometimes if you power these guys, it consumes standby power. So this allows you to not consume any standby power. This is a vent here. The back has nothing. The right side is also a vent. The bottom has some rubber feet and a label right here. I've got all four panels set up and it goes to these two junction boxes. Two panels go to each one and then it goes into the jackery. And I got this extension cable going to my microwave. Input of 324 watts. To charge about 20%, it requires 1.1 hours. So it, it can do a full charge in about five hours in the full sun. So this is a really good thing because you can actually still charge this thing even if it's partly cloudy, if you charge it the whole day. The display actually times out and turns off after 30 seconds, just to save power. You got 23 watts. If I block out one square, it doesn't reduce by much. If I block out four squares, it's like 12, 12 watts, 11 watts. If I block out nine squares, 18, it drops significantly, like 75%, only five, six watts. If I block out 
full half of the panel, you got zero watts now. Over here in the corner, it says MPPT. It means it's tracking the voltage, putting the proper load on the panel so that it gets the maximum wattage out. It says solar panel right here and also the battery is charging. It can supply up to 1800 watts, which is pretty beefy. You can power blenders, heaters, cookers, and probably blow dryers too. A bunch of your USB outputs. These are kind of low wattage in comparison to the power of this thing. So it's kind of nice you can plug those things in too. On the side there's a flashlight. <laughs> Although you won't be carrying this to shine on anything but I guess you can turn this on just to have a little bit of ambient light. Now when you charge at 170 watt it's going to generate some heat. So on the side here the fan just turned on. I'm going to put the mic next to it so you can hear it better. It's not very loud but you can hear it a little bit. The microwave. Let's see if this works. Sounds a little slow. Whoa, 1720 watts. I'm running the microwave for 60 seconds. It already drained it down by 1%. Okay, a microwave stopped, drained it by 2% to microwave for one minute. This is quite exciting. Battery microwaved rice. Does it work? Is it hot? It's hot, it's very hot, just like normal microwaves plugged into the wall. This is my Tesla car charger. I have my own kludge version of a generator neutral ground bonding plug. Neutral and ground are tied together and I just put the cap on this so it's not dangerous. It's connecting the neutral and the ground together not this one. Disclaimer here, I don't recommend to do this yourself unless you know what you're doing. So I'm gonna plug this in here, turn on the display, and now I'm gonna turn on the AC. Normally the Tesla charger would show red, and I guess it's still showing red right now. I think these might be isolated, so I need something to tie all of this together. Here we go, I got a three plug here. Now all these are connected together, tie the neutral and ground together with this side and plug in the Tesla charger. Let's see. Yeah, now it's actually clicking. It clicked and it's starting to output a lot of current. 1286 watts. And I'm gonna put my phone right here. And if I reduce the current, let's say we wanna start at five. Five amps, this is 550 watts or so. It's showing up as 482 watts, but let's just crank it up as much as we can through this plug here. This is 50%. I can charge half an hour at this rate. At this rate, it's charging four miles an hour, and it looks like 50% will add about two miles to my car. Theoretically, since this is a 1500 watt hour battery. It should charge about six miles, but because of inefficiencies, I probably will get about four miles. This product is down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.